I've got the low down on inventory management for y'all. Hey boutique owner and other e-commerce friends. So today we're looking at inventory management. I'll be answering your top questions on inventory management and sharing our top apps for integrating Shopify with your inventory and fulfillment apps. So stay tuned. Now, if you're shipping physical goods, then inventory management is definitely something you want to be on top of as a boutique owner or e-commerce biz owner. Whether you're purely online or you manage your own inventory and shipping, you're drop shipping, you're also managing a brick and mortar store or multiple, I've got the low down on inventory management for y'all. Okay, so inventory management 101. A good inventory management system is totally essential for your product-based business. It helps you keep on top of stock levels and you know revenue. Uh, just things like making sure that you have enough of what you need when you need it in stock. Uh, making sure that you have enough inventory in general to make a particular investment worth it. For example, you know whatever your Facebook ad budget is, does your inventory level support that? Um, you know, if you're about to invest a lot into selling at a big show, for example, again, do your inventory level support that sort of investment that if you were to sell out of certain items, like would this actually be worth it for you? Um, you know, and conversely, just making sure that you don't end up with a stockpile of stuff that you can't sell uh, because that's money sitting there, right? So what you should know with your inventory management at all times is your current stock levels. And this should be, you know, like, yeah, across the board, but also like by particular brand, especially if you have brands that are particular, particularly pop popular um, or uh, product type, you know, um, seasonal items, you know, things like that. So uh, and then also your reorder levels, you know, at what point? do you absolutely need to reorder? Do you not, you know, do you need to not dip below in order to keep everything going? Um, particularly if you have, you know, a storefront or you sell at shows or things like that. So when to purchase and what to purchase, you should have some sort of an open to buy plan figured out. And that's something else altogether that you can work on. I am going to give you some tips here too, but these things are all really important for you to know as an e-commerce biz, right? So let's get into Shopify uh, in particular. Now you can use other programs along with Shopify and I am gonna talk about that in a second, but I've literally, I mean, I've seen it all um, at this point with clients. So I've definitely seen even clients that are selling online and in store that are still just using pen and paper basically um, to keep track of inventory. So at least with Shopify's inventory management, you can set up um, inventory tracking, you can view all of your inventory. There is a special view that is meant specifically for you to do you know, larger scale inventory checks. So if you're doing those, you know, um, monthly, weekly, I mean, at least annually, but hopefully more often than that. <laughs> um, and just kind of seeing, um, you know, that the, the, the levels that are, that are stated in your inventory tracking system match what's actually on hand. Um, and then you can view the history of inventory adjustments, which can be helpful in case, you know, there are errors and kind of figuring out what those, where those discrepancies are, are happening. Um, so, uh, integration. So if you are selling on multiple platforms or channels, um, you're going to need to integrate all of those channels in terms of inventory management. So like, in other words, how will these platforms speak to each other? Like if you're using a POS in store, that's not Shopify. And then of course your website is Shopify. Maybe you're also using comments sold in your group. So when you're thinking about how all of these systems are going to speak to each other, you want to think about, um, you know, like how is your inventory being managed? Um, are you shipping yourself or are you drop shipping? Because even if you're drop shipping, you still want to make sure that you have a handle on making sure that the inventory counts on your website at any given moment are accurate because otherwise people are going to be buying things. You're going to turn around to buy it from, you know, the company that you're drop shipping with and it's going to be gone. So, you know, how are you, um, how are you making sure that that's all consistent? So if you're running a store again, if you, you're, if you're using a different POS than Shopify and you're using Shopify for your website, how are they going to speak to each other? 
Um, and then selling across multiple platforms, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, things like that. Now, what's nice is Shopify actually integrates with a ton of, um, you know, outside providers. So, um, you know, they'll sync up with your Amazon. They will, um, you know, integrate directly with your comments sold. And if you're using a different POS, there are options there too. So if you're using a third party POS, you need to be integrated using one of these softwares to keep everything in order. So some of our faves, um, this is not all inclusive, um, but if you're using Lightspeed POS, Accumula is, is the way to go. If you're using Clover for your POS, SKU IQ is the way to go. And if you're using Square, then we recommend Shopventory. Um, so Accumula, SKU IQ, and Shopventory are all basically just um, intermediary inventory management softwares. Um, they also, you know, there are other things that they can do. Like some people like to use Shopventory for other purposes, uh, just in terms of having more data available. Um, same with Accumula. But um, the bottom line is that it will make it so that your POS and your online inventories are matching. So that if somebody buys something online, it's going to alert you on your POS. Like this is, you know, that you're trying to sell something that's out of stock and vice versa. It's not going to be available online if someone just bought it in front of you. So, um, it's really important that you automate this because, you know, especially at scale, it just is not feasible and it just doesn't make sense to try to keep track of this on your own in another way manually. Um, okay. So I want to talk about some apps that we love over here. <laughs> there are quite a few. Uh, that relate to your inventory management. So first off is either Faves Pro or Market2 Boutique. Um, both of these are definitely unique and different programs from each other. But what is in common here is that they help you manage uh, your inventory before it even comes to you. Because, you know, what we've been talking about so far is just basically inventory management in terms of what you have in stock, um, you know, keeping those levels accurate so you don't oversell things like that but we know that there is a whole process before the item even gets to you right so managing your orders particularly if you're ordering at markets um you know getting that information so basically tracking that information you know what's coming when is it coming um you know and making sure that then that easily syncs over to Shopify. So these are both a couple apps that would be helpful for you to look into if you want, if, if you're ready to kind of take things to the next level in terms of your inventory management. Um, Sync Logic for drop shipping. This isn't the only app like this, but on Shopify, this is a really cool app that if you are doing drop shipping, um, you know, for your e-commerce business, you at least can know that your you're synced correctly with that wholesaler in terms of inventory. So everything on your website is real time according to their inventory counts at that time. Um, and this is just an app, you know, in your Shopify store um, that you would have and then your wholesaler would need to have as well. And of course they would have to allow drop shipping in the first place. So uh, obviously comment sold for comment selling or comment selling through live videos. Um, again, this integrates directly with Shopify and it's a super easy way to automate. I'm, you know, I'm all about automation. So, um, definitely a really cool integration to have. And then I love Delirious Profit. It's a Shopify app. It's only five bucks a month and you get, I think you get a whole month or at least seven days free, but definitely check it out. Um, there are just a ton of extra reporting options. It can kind of help you with that open to buy stuff that I was talking about earlier. Um, so as long as you're actually entering in, you know, all of your items and the cost of goods, cause you know, when you're uploading a product into Shopify, you're able to put the cost of goods. Um, so there might be some cleanup if you haven't been doing that, but as long as all of that is in there, oh my goodness, the reports that you can pull from this program are so cool. You can see in an instant, you know, like how much inventory you have right now in terms of what would it be at retail? What is the actual cost of goods of everything that you have? And then so that you can look at that overall, then again, you can look at by brand, by type of item, by tag, all kinds of things. Um, you can, this can really help you look at your actual profit, um, you know, mostly in terms of your cogs, but you can also enter things like your um, shipping rates and your packaging costs, you know, like say you add everything up together in your packaging and it costs you, 
you know, 125 per package, for example. It can account for that when it's giving you your totals. Um, so you can also see, you know, again, by type or tag or all these different, different ways, um, brand, uh, you can see what you have in stock right now so that if you're getting particularly low on, you know, dresses as an example, you know that you need to order more of those particularly. So anyway, these are just some cool apps that can help with your inventory management. But the, at the end of the day, the bottom line is when deciding what you know, app integration, um, you know, and just system in general, like Shopify for your website or not, you know, like what POS to use. Just remember that it needs to offer extensive real time and detailed inventory management. You know, your, um, your, your customer service just depends on it. So, and everything needs to integrate with all the other apps that it needs to, so that you can stay on top of your inventory. You know, what's in stock and what do you need to order more of, things like that. So um, I know that we dove into several different topics. So please, if you do have any questions, drop them below. So that's a wrap for today's inventory management for Shopify 101 lesson. If you like this video, hit subscribe and let me know in the comments if this has helped or what other questions you have. And I'll see you in the next video. Need more? Check out the blog at hotmessblog.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel too. Cheers!